Hello, and welcome to Gender Produce here in Sacramento, California. My name is Leanne Castro, and today I'm going to talk to you about the poinsettia, where it originated, how it got its name, and what was the use for it. As you can see, we're all decorated for the holidays. The beautiful red color, the burgundies, the greens. Let me tell you a little bit about this plant where it originated. It's a tropical plant. It came from Central South America. It came up the region, up to South Mexico. The Aztecs used to use it for medicinal purposes. They would uh, use the center of the plant like this. They'd break it off, they'd grind it up, and they'd use it to dye textiles. Also, if you've ever broke one of the petals or leaves off of here, you've noticed it's a white, milky substance. Today we call that latex, but they used it for fever medicine. They believed that it helped someone that had a fever. There was a man by the name of Joel Roberts Ponset. He was a French medical student, and he had a passion for botany and plants. His dad was a pharmacist, but during that time, back in the 1800s, they promoted him to the ambassador of Mexico, and he went down to the southern region, and he saw the elegant plant, and he was just enchanted by the red color. He took the plant back to where he lived in Greenville, South Carolina, and he had hot houses there in a plantation. He then began growing the plant, propagating it, and he gave it as gifts to, for his friends. And it grew across, eventually, North America. It kept going. In fact, this is the most grown plant still in North America today is the poinsettia. As he gave it his gifts to his friends, they said, we're going to name the plant after you because it just grew and grew. Thus the name poinsettia came. And to this day, that is what they're known for. So grab a poinsettia, bring out the pretty colors, enjoy them in your house, all the rich colors, botanicals, and bring it together. My name is Leanne Castro, and that's the Floral Beat.